Is Bitcoin still bullish? We have recently seen that big rejection from the monthly naked point of control up and around $49,000. That rejection has led us all the way down to the lower weekly level around $42,000. From here, we're forming now a local range. I'll be telling you in this video everything that you need to know about the current range and how to be trading the next few weeks of price action as we get the breakout of this range. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. As always, I just ask one simple thing, and that is that you pay full attention to this video. Why? Because I honestly believe I can educate you and help you make profits in the coming weeks of this market. So that sounds like a very fair deal, right? You pay attention. I help you make profits and we have a brilliant time while doing so. So let's get straight into what you're here for. That is the technical analysis and the trades. Of course, we are now in this sideways range after that big move to the downside where I still have these short trades open, which were taken up and around that monthly naked point of control. I still have those shorts open as we now go into sideways consolidation. This sideways consolidation going on around just above that weekly level. Okay, so what are we looking at next? Well, from that, move to the downside, bringing us to sideways price action. We now have to have one very important thing, and that is patience. You hear me say this a lot when it comes to trading, right? Especially if you're already a contender or champion member. Patience, patience, patience. What is a major factor why a lot of people will be losing money right now? And it's because we go into this consolidation, which some people would refer to as choppy price action. I'm not going to say it's choppy because Actually, the levels within this range are well respected. This high, for example, a daily naked point of control, timing the absolute high for a 2% move to the downside. So there are trades to be had here, but it's definitely more, so to speak, what people would refer to as choppy. It's not a clean rejection, clean, new, all high levels where you can get simple trade setups. You know, it was requiring a little bit more patience. As you can see, this is the range that I've got that I've already been sharing to my team. We got a lovely range high, which coincides with the first bit of support that was found before that prior, oh, sorry, the after move to the downside to bring us down to tap that weekly. Okay, and that, you know, that move of the lower wick is giving us a range low. And then you can see really nicely how the middle of this range is well respected with initially support back into resistance, back into support, and now just moving up and around. When we pull the fixed range on this price action, you can see that it makes a lot of sense with the value area low, finding somewhat of support and the point of control on the middle of that channel. So for me right now, I'm remaining absolutely patient. Uh, you know, I, I, as mentioned, I still have these short positions from higher, which are sat in nice profits right now. I don't need to overmanage them. Of course, I've hit a take profit one on those shorts, you know. So if we do fly up to $50,000, of course, I'll get stopped on the remainder of those short trades, which is absolutely fine because I will have profited from them. I still do, of course, have my longs open from lower. And I you know, lower from thirty six thousand dollars minus. Uh, and I still hold those longs open too. why? Because overall, when we look at this from a more of a higher term time frame perspective, here's the daily. Yes, we have got a rejection currently from what I class as a very important level, but we still maintain this bullish market structure. We have seen major moves to the downside prior in this uptrend. And each one resulting in a higher low for continuation of that trend, bringing us up each time to higher and higher prices. So the question that I asked at the start of this video is, is Bitcoin still bullish? Well, the answer from a market structure perspective is yes. There is still not a reason why we would not be looking for above $50,000. This is from a market structure perspective. Again, as a trader that uses market structure, of course I do, along with many other technical analysis tools to give me my high probability trades where I know I'm remaining patient for because I've got a golden setup in my eyes, in my targets that I'm ready and waiting to take. I know that the new data that can come in over the following days could lead to a breakdown, which I will discuss in this uh, remainder of the video, which would then say, OK, now the market structure is bearish. We have got to confirm market structure change and we're looking for a much bigger retracement. But for now, these higher lows are intact. But be aware, of course, this is trading and that can change in a second. So what are we looking at now? We add on that local range that we have. 
And as I've, you know, coined this range, uh, trade the range until it breaks. You know, this is what we created at Tart Champions, a very simple theory of trade a range. And when it breaks, stop trading that range and then look for the larger targets. So we know that we've, let me just zoom in so it's clear for everybody here. We got this more local range to be trading. Okay, but we've got our range high and our range low down at the lows here. We know that if we break down from this range, again, there's no swing failure pattern. There's no failed auction. If we get a clean break to the downside, we can be looking for the prior wick lows down here at around $40,000. Okay, so it's a simple case of trade this range until it breaks. If it breaks to the downside, look for 40,000 minus dollars. So you move to the downside below $40,000 where we got our next level of support. And if this range breaks to the upside, again, I know some people will say, Daniel, you're saying price can go up or down. How is this helpful to me? Because this is the fact of the market. The market can go up or down. We do not care which way the market direction is. We just need to know where the next levels are above and below our range so we can make profit. If price pumps, we know how to make profit. If price dumps from here, we know how to extract profit from the market. That's what you're here for. You're not here for anything else other than to make profit. So I hope so. That's why you watch these videos. <laughs> if you've got another reason, I'm not sure what it is because we are the profit making channel, right? So that is the way that I'm looking at the market right now. So in terms of then the upside targets, where are we actually looking for a new move above $50,000? Well, that's what I want to talk about now. And before I get on to that, I just got two very quick announcements. First one is that I am finally going to be doing once again a Bitcoin Elliott wave count on the higher term time frame. Of course, the prior <laughs> very famous now Elliott wave count from December 2021, which timed the low zone of around $15,000. Now, potentially timing the high up here around $50,000. If this is right, when we got a bigger wave four correction WXY going on here to bring us down to yeah potentially below $10,000. I will be covering on Sunday in the Champions live stream on our website, chartchampions.com, the updated Elliott wave count for you all. I will cover the exact count that I'm looking at the one I feel is the most highest probable and, you know, real in detail, higher term time frame, swing pay, swing trade perspective using Elliott Waves, what I will be looking at next for the rest of 2024. So if you want to be watching that Elliott Wave count, join the Champions membership and that is where you'll get access to that. The next thing that I want to cover really briefly is a comment, actually, uh, which I think was... Uh, well, it's absolutely fair. So I made this uh, post on Instagram. Here we go. Big smile. Um, 2024 has started very well for myself personally. Okay. For the first time in years, I have taken a CEO role in Chart Champions. It has its challenges and long hours, of course, but the fulfillment it brings and the sense of purpose it gives me is real satisfaction and happiness. Okay. So course, for the past few years, I haven't had a director, a CEO, you know, you know, active role in the company. Okay. I've been going off and, you know, running other businesses, having a lot of, you know, my personal time uh, as a focus, but really from 2024, the start of this year, I've come back, took the reins and, and happily, you know, leading the way at Chart Champions as the CEO once again. And reading through some of the comments, I know the, the vast majority are very positive and very, um, you know, they can see the work and passion and love that we have for educating you all. But I actually want to touch on not all the positive comments, but some of the negative comments. Uh, I'd like to really, you know, give light to that. Of course, everything's not positive. People also have their concerns. And I'd like to just address them very quickly. And, you know, this is how I grow and remain humble and, you know, keep a clear perspective of everybody's opinions. And it was this comment in particular. Uh, he joined Chart Champions in 2021 and did not have the best experience. OK, and his question is, why would anyone be enticed to come back now with me as CEO when in 2021, 2022, you know, I was not giving the best impressions. Absolutely, I wasn't. And I agree with this comment. I totally do. In 2021, 2022, I was, you know, immature myself not only the group was immature but also myself and you know <laughs> just led to a very toxic environment at that time and i can just say this 
uh, myself and the group being immature back then, uh, we lacked a few key elements that we have now learned through the years of experience and with myself some big important life lessons that we are now much more professional and focused on simply trading and make it making profits. It's no longer, you know, those other factors that we had back then. There was a lot of immature comments and uh, there was almost like it, there was a group of people and anyone that wasn't in the group was felt a bit excluded. You know, we, we, we learn a lot from feedback received also you know, very disorganized from what it was. Like this guy says, if you weren't the big boy, then, uh, you know, you weren't feeling part of the group. And I love this comment because this guy is actually also a member in 2021 and came back recently. And, you know, he left for a big list of reasons. But as he says in his own words, they are not applicable anymore. As the members are now respectful, the lessons are much more, uh, I'm just going to say, condensed and they're no longer going on for hours. You know, you're just given the information that you need to learn to understand the daily plans. OK, and educate yourself and succeed in the quickest way possible. And honestly, he trusts the words once again that I am saying he Thomas here is now a net profitable trader. And of course, this is part of the chart champions group. The old course work was not cohesive enough and there wasn't enough empathy for the journey of newer traders. And now we have fixed that. And I'd like to just emphasize that to anybody watching this as a older member from 21, 2022. You know, I feel the pain that some of you went through and I can only once again, you know, you know, recognize the mistakes and the immaturity levels back then. And, uh, you know, just let you know that I have grown up. <laughs> Chart Champions has grown up too. We are now a very professional focused company that are here to support our members. And you can see things just as like this, um, making things more clear, making things more professional, Bitcoin daily plan, giving some context, explaining the next long trades, explaining the next short trades, very similar to this video, but every single day you've got the live streams, everyday live streams, contender sessions, which are now, you know, at that 15 minute mark condensed, pre-recorded, just giving you the information as clean as possible. Weekly altcoin streams, weekly, oh, actually more than once a week, right? But you've got several times a week, live trading streams, altcoin streams, trade recaps, you know, we've just really listened to the feedback, listened to our uh, downfalls back a few years ago, worked on that, improved and, uh, you know, remain humble and accepting, hey, life is uh, full of mistakes at times and without those bad times, without those mistakes, we can't improve and I really feel we have improved and the people that are coming back now and giving us a go are seeing those improvements and, you know, for me that is... Um, yeah, it's just part of growing up, right? And like this guy says, the community has grown and is amazing. Today, general chat is filled with people asking questions on price action, finding clarity in their own and the coach's work. I'm uh, proud to say he can now make money consistently when he's not doing chiropractor things. But anyway, back to the technical class. I just wanted to touch on that because that's something that comes from my heart and something, of course, I'm loving and passionate about now with a more focal stage at Chart Champions. I just want to uh, take that minute to reflect upon that um, for the last time, I hope, because I'd like to just move on and focus on the now and, and the new me. So, um, yeah, with that said, what we're we looking at next in terms of the bullish targets, I mentioned this is the range to trade until it breaks. If this range breaks to the downside, we're looking next for $40,000. Then we can judge again, do we get a bullish reaction or if we get continuation bearishly? Okay, if the range breaks to the upside, then actually we got a lovely zone pulling a Fibonacci from the high, current yearly high, down to the low, down around that weekly. Got this zone around $46,000, which has confluence and is the CC Fibonacci pull. Okay, so this is a zone to be aware of. If we break to the upside towards $46,000, if we get through that, then yes, I am looking for new yearly highs on the weekly level, which is at $50,776 to be precise. A big, 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 big weekly target for myself. Very important level that you're going to want to make sure you have recorded too. Um, so for me right now, uh, I, I honestly am neutral. I am uh, not ultra bullish nor ultra bearish. I am neutral, respecting the charts and respecting the analysis that I have in front of me. I understand I'm happy to short this market, okay, as I have in recent, you know, weeks, and I'm happy to long the market as I still hold longs from below 
$40,000 open. I'm happy to trade whichever side of the market has got the local momentum and the highest probabilities. And with that is how I make profits day in, day out in this market and what we teach you to do. It's not about only longing. It's not about only shorting. It's about coming in here, doing analysis, finding the high probability level of confluence, taking the trade, making profits, moving on to the next trade. It is a career path that you can do. You can be a trader. There's nothing stopping you. And if you truly want to be in the place with the most professional support and advice, you know where you can come along and join it. Chartchampions.com. Going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much, everybody. I hope that you have truly enjoyed this. And if you want to see more from myself and the other coaches, Igor, Rivalry and Severin, you know where to be. Thank you ever so much. And I will see you inside of the Chart Champions Discord or the membership website. Thank you. Have a good one. And final words, trade the charts. Don't be caught offside. Don't be caught ultra bullish, ultra bearish. Let's trade this range and see which way we get the breakout next. Again, we can extract profits whatever way this goes. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>